my brothers and sisters adam slink is here again how are you guys doing good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from have you eaten this morning as nigeria living in nigeria well i don't know i don't think this country should be called nigeria i think this country should be called adjuster the federal republic of adjusters hmm? I don't think Nigeria actually fit us. The Federal Republic of Adjusters is the perfect name they should have given to this country, not Nigeria, because we can adjust very well. The greatest scam that I've learned since when I was growing up was that Nigerians are very happy people. <laughs> Like, see, okay, how can you guys say, eh, eh? how can you guys explain this? You are suffering and you are smiling. Does that make you a happy person? If you are suffering, kuro kuro suffering like this and you are smiling, does that make you a happy person? Do you know how long we have been suffering? I am telling you, I am 30 something. And since when I was born, I've always had the word Hop Nepa. Hop Nepa. Hop Nepa. Hey, Nepa, don't bring light. Hey. With the get light for this place. Oh. Light the day, this place. Oh, oh light, no the day at all. All those words keep echoing every day of my life. They have increased for pump price. And I just feel like, you know what? I have to do this. I have to do this video. I have to do this video. At least, let me show my solidarity. Let me do the little I can. I have to do this video to tell my people over here that, see, who do us? I have to do this video, guys. There is a need for me to do this video. Despite it's not going to gain a lot of traffic, Nigerians do not absolutely care about the increase of the fuel price. They don't absolutely care. They genuinely do not care about the increase of this fuel pump price. They genuinely do not care. And you guys will see it with this kind of video. You will see it now. The tariff, the trends, no, see, nobody is even talking about it. I think people should stop doing giveaway. I think people should stop helping people in this country. Maybe then somebody will know that there is no any other place to get money than to get serious. I think, I, I, honestly, I don't know how. Because if you check, uh, the federal government are not entirely the whole issue here. Not entirely, entirely the issue here. Because nobody is holding them accountable. Nobody is crying to them. Nobody is doing That means Nigerians are happy. Nobody is crying. Nobody is talking. Nobody is agitating. That means Nigerians are happy. They are happy with their situation. If election starts again, they will still share money. And people, women will still come outside to collect small, 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 small for 5,000 naira. So, Talks are still there. So Nigerians basically are happy. So tell me, how are you going to hold a government accountable when you are happy? I don't know who do also. I'm so happy eh? I came into this world eh? as a Nigerian eh? and being aware of myself and my surroundings. I am so happy. I'm, I'm not among those. I'm not among those many Nigerians who do not understand where they are. Who do not understand their left to right. Who are just living the moment. <laughs> well, guys, uh, the pump, the fuel pump price is high. It, it, they have increased it to one thousand naira. Some NAPC fuel station are selling it one thousand sixty naira. Some are selling one thousand seventy naira. One some one thousand twenty naira, ninety nine eight. And uh, um, be rest assured, in some villages now, they are also selling it for one thousand five. One thousand. Be rest assured. I don't know how much it is in your area. Hmm? I have not bought foil recently because this foil pump price increased the other day. 
uh, about uh, yesterday so i've not really really uh, bought any fuel i will know exactly how much is it in my area you know nlpc said it's no longer a middleman between dangote and the marketers so they have backed out now and the, all marketers can go on to uh, talk to uh dangote negotiate prices with uh, dangote dangote is a business person we already thought that uh, this web price will reduce a little bit since we don't get refinery but it seems like that dream is far-fetched how are we so comfortable buying fuel for one above one thousand naira? When few years ago, yeah, not even up to fifteen years, we are buying fuel for sixteen naira per liter. They do during good of Jonathan. They wanted, they wanted to increase it to one hundred forty something naira. Then all the protesters, the president, correct president, was the one that lead major uh, protests. The APC members now lead, led major protests against Golok Jonathan, but here we are today. Are we so comfortable now in this um, in this current situation that we do that we do not really care? Are we comfortable? Are we honestly comfortable? Because increase of oil price uh, means one thing: there will be increase of uh, transportation fare. That means services we increase food we increase major human amenities in this country we increase everything we increase because fuel directly affect almost everything in this country in fact it might even increase the dollar hmm? it might even affect the dollar as well okay subsidy nobody supports subsidy i do not even support subsidy but then again where is the money? You know that money milk was supposed to they pay for subsidy. The government no call the PIA again. Where the money they go? The federal allocation increased drastically. And we are still collecting loan from a World Bank. And not just only that, guys. The government monthly allocation increased drastically. So where is the problem? They will say it's the government. But you guys are not holding your government accountable. You say that government, a government, a government, a government. But are you in any way holding your government accountable? Okay, they increase the fuel. Then there should be major palliatives accessible to Nigerians. Because now there is no more fuel subsidy. So the money got you from fuel subsidy should at least some of them, eh, some of the money eh, should be... Eh, should be subsidized into palliatives so that Nigerians can easily access. But then again, they are playing tricks with the palliatives. The corruption is deeply rooted. How will somebody properly share palliative when, before you hear it now, one person don't steal one, one, one hundred or something billion naira? From where? One person don't carry this, 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 this billion naira? From where? From where? Oh God! Oh God! We don't know, guys. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know what will happen. I don't know, guys. Nigerians are not hungry enough. If you say me, they go protest now. You see, poor man. Most, most especially the northerners, go they destroy uh, kiosks and shops around. They don't understand the meaning of protest. They will destroy things around them. They will the say, "Na person made the also like that, now there will be their problem. You don't understand the meaning of protest. That is one thing again. Now, wow, who do us? Hmm. Fuel has increased. President Tunubu, please. It's too much. I beg. Eh? At this moment, I think what you got to do is beg. Because this is not a one-man mission. This is a multiple people uh, coming together mission. Are you people actually really satisfied? Because how can you be talking to people who are honestly satisfied with their situation? I am not okay with this. Oh. I honestly am not okay with this. 
It's been long the they since they have been telling us to patient. I said I'm telling you, I'll be hearing patient, patient, patient. For the longest time. No, our heroes uh, are not heroes, honestly. Our heroes are not heroes. They brought down this country to what it is today, over the years. Please, don't mistake any ish. I don't think we have a, a hero in this country that we should all respect. I don't see nothing. I don't even look at anybody in this country that I feel like, okay, I should respect. Nah. No hero from this country. No, no one is willing. No one is willing to make a change. Oh, wow. This thing is very, very simple. It's very simple. It's very easy. It's, it's not rocket science eh, to solve. It's not rocket science. For a uh, 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 issue, okay, no more subsidy, which I like. No more subsidy. Let us buy for the reach of 3,000 naira, if possible. But then again, the citizen will feel the impact of not paying for subsidy. Palities will be readily available for Nigerians. Housing available. So many other basic amenities. Healthcare available. Education available. Okay, you don't subsidize nothing for us. Then what are you not doing now? We are just independent of our home. And meanwhile, they keep telling us that resources belong to every Nigeria. Resources do not belong to every Nigeria. The way I'm saying it, it belongs to a few persons. Subsidize something for us. Subsidize edu uh, education. Subsidize healthcare. Healthcare shouldn't only be for government officials alone. Education shouldn't only be for government. It should be for all as a Nigerian. Be it educated person or not. Subsidize all those things. Subsidize all those education and everything for us. That bad. Is it a, is it a book? Is all that. Where they create policies upon policies upon policy. How will policy work when the people created the policy and the people meant to implement it? They are they are deeply corrupted. Man. Okay guys, you know eh? you guys are happy where you are. So I wish you all the best. I wish us all the luck. Me. I need all the luck I can get now because this situation is hard. If I tell you, say hard, believe me, it's hard. Extremely hard for me. It's hard. Why is it not hard for you? Why are you people not talking? Why is it not trending like that of the whiskey that David does uh, issue? It's not trending. Why is it not trending like very dark man about whiskey matter? Why? Why is NAPC matter not trending? Why NAPC matter not trending like Whiskey Davido? Bonner boy, very dark man. Why not trending? Absolutely, the simple truth is that you do not care whether you chop or not. You don't care. You don't care if you eat or not. You don't care. That is not the simple truth. You don't care. It's what you care about to actually have time to discuss. You absolutely do not care one bit about it. Absolutely, guy. You don't care. You don't care. So before you point fingers at anybody, eh, look at yourself in the mirror as Nigerians eh, and tell yourself, ah, I really knew. Honestly, every Nigerian should be able to look at themselves and be like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs>